Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how I can set up a simple traffic light system. So we just using our previous map from the previous tutorial. Um, but before we do this I want to correct a few things from the tutorial before. So let's open our AI car and go to this function here and then I would just want to correct the stop function. So because um, you can delete that, unplug this one, got the stand here and just set it and then we can put it inside here and be sure that it's true. So then when the stop function is called the um, boolean of stand goes to true. So this is fine. So let's make another function called driving and in this function we go here um, take this part of the function just copy it into here and what we have to do now so we already get the stand variable and yeah can leave it to false so then the um, car is when it called a stop function is put the variable to true and with driving to false. All right um, and what we also have to do is that the handbrake has to be released so then we can copy the function into here put this one inside here this to here yeah um, one moment. Okay, yeah, great. So now we just have to call the function. So we go back here and just say driving, and yeah, that's it. So the second thing I want to correct is um, that we got a better view on the scene. So we just leave the scene on, and. What I want to do is that we run around in a third person character. So we add feature or content pack, say third person, add to project. Can't delete that here. And then we go to world settings, put this to none, save. Then we open the project settings, go to maps and modes, the third person game mode to selecting and when we now hit play we are the third person character and get a better view on the scene. Great. So for the um, traffic light system I want to copy the AI car so let's duplicate this one. AI car is good and then we can open it and I just want to change the color so we can see what is which car so let's go to the mesh and change the color to yeah red it's okay save and then we can put the car to here just like that okay so the idea is that this car drive from this to this position and this car from this to this position. So we has also uh, have to copy the path, so that's duplicated and yeah path one is okay. So we put it right here, turn around and then we can pull it to the end of the road like that. Okay. Now we will change the setting for the second car so that it follow the second path. So then we say path one, go to the get path function, then open the details function, say path one object reference and compile. Then we have to say get a copy then 
spline get spline connected to here and when we now say save then we have to connect this one sorry okay okay looks good so now we have to follow the second path so when we now hit play let's see yeah the red car follow his path the blue car follow his path great okay but now we want to set up the traffic lights so I prepared something so it looks like that so that's the traffic lights that I want to use so you can get these from the marketplace um, it's free content from Epic Games and uh, link is in the description um, I just changed a few things so I put the red lights yellow lights and green lights inside here then I always put a collision object down to here um, that is for the car to recognize and um, that's what I want to do so the switch light function is pretty simple so when the game is started um, he will wait for 10 seconds and then he called the switch to yellow function and the delay for two seconds then he do a flip-flop he's changed to green or he changed to red um, and then he's just starting with the delay um, the functions are pretty similar so there's the state just traffic light state is a boolean so that just um, is for if the light is red then the traffic light is false and it is green then traffic light is true so and it just want to do is that the red lights are um, visible in the game and the other lights are hidden in the game and yeah of course uh, with the green lights it's similar and with the yellow lights it's also the same so um, let's put it right here and I'll show you how it looks like um, so I hit play and as you can see the lights are red for 10 seconds so let's wait for a moment and then yellow green great so um, now the car has to recognize if it's green or red so how you do that um, pretty simple let's open the traffic light go to the event graph and let's say the collision object here has to be has an event on component begin overlap so let's call this function and what we want to do is that the other car uh, actor is cars to AI car 2 then we take the traffic like state call it get then we do a branch so when the traffic light is true so it is green then it can can driving so put this to true and if it's false it just stop okay so what we have to do is do a retriggable delay that checks if the traffic light is still red so let's say he already checked this for every second and then it We'll check the branch again. Yeah, great, it should be working. Okay, let's check if it's working. So let's put the car a little bit to here and hit play. Now we'll drive, see the traffic lights are red, hit the brake, wait until the traffic light is green and then continue driving okay so but um, now we need another traffic light to tell the blue car if it has to stop or not so then we can just copy the traffic lights 
So let's duplicate that and call it traffic light site. Put it right here and turn it around. Okay. Looks fine. And what we have to change now is we go into the second and we have to change the states. So let's go here and say this one costs to the IR car one instead of the two. Connect this one and call the driving function as well as the stop function. Put this to here and yeah, okay, should be working. And what we else have to do, because if we don't change this, the um, this and this one will be always the same. So w if this is red, this is red. If and otherwise, if this one is green, this one is also green too. So that didn't make sense. Um, so we now just have to switch the function. So let's unplug this one. Then we first call the switch to red. Put it back to delay, and then we switch to green. So it, it's always different to the main one. Then we go to the viewport, open the details, select all lights, search for hidden in game. So always put to true. And then just the green lights are not hidden in game. So let's compile, save that. And now let's see. This one is now green. And this now is red. And yeah, they now have to be always different. So now it changed to red. And this one is green. And as you can see, the blue car is recognized that the traffic light is red. And when it go back to green, it continue. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye.